Welcome to the Mysterious Accent channel. There is a UK version of 9 Day Fiancé now. One of the couples is Bridey and Host. Bridey is from England and Host is from Lebanon. And they met playing an online game? <laughs> Okay, one more time. <laughs> I met her on an online computer game. I think we'll win. We will win. He was like, man, you're gorgeous. And I was like, I think so gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> I thought meeting someone online was crazy. And how can you know someone that you've never met? Good do. Well, meeting someone online for sure is kind of crazy, but it's also very entertaining for us watching. And that's the reason why 9 Day Fiancé exists. And let me tell you right away, the UK version does not disappoint. Because as always, there is a lot of drama. And the main drama of those two is very specific. She's very jealous because he's apparently a very attractive guy and he gets a lot of attention from the ladies. Apparently he has an Instagram with thousands of followers and most of them are ladies and i think it's because of this jealousy that she wants to meet this guy as fast as possible because because she's gonna fly to lebanon to meet him and for some reason even though she has never met the guy she's saying that this is the biggest emotional connection that she has ever had this is hands down the deepest emotional connection i've had with another person which is weird because we haven't met yet and i'm aware of that if this is the biggest emotional connection that she has ever had, I only wonder what kind of relationship she had with the father of her daughters. Because she has two kids and she's gonna leave the kids in the UK and she's gonna travel to Lebanon to meet this guy. Hus has brought out a lot of who I was before my kids. He allows me to be selfish again, which is new for me. Being a mom has been my identity for almost eight years now and I think this past year is the first time in all those years that I've remembered that I was someone else before I was a mom. I am going to visit Lebanon. I trust someone that I've never met. Like, I'm putting my faith in him. What do they call it? Like, a lover's leap? I'm, I'm leaping. I'm flying. <laughs> So, they haven't even met yet, and Host is already talking about how jealous she is. My uncle Sam thinks Bridie gets a little bit too jealous, and uh, he's kind of right in, in his way. Um, I think it's a, it's a women thing, like, they all get jealous. Um, like, it was a lot different at the beginning, you know, like, she gets jealous. I don't know, you have to solve this problem. Actually, we, we you don't need it in your life, uh, yeah. Host, yeah. you know? Uh, yeah, women can kill for that, when they get jealous. They, they become abnormal. <laughs> Even though he's aware of this personality flaw that Bridie has, he's still thinking about proposing to her as soon as she arrives in Lebanon. Um, you know, I don't know if I should propose to her on this trip or the next one or when. <sighs> don't do it, of course, first trip. You don't know this, this person yet. I know you like you're trying to guide me through because you have lots and lots of experience, but like we've come a long way. I know you love her so much, but love is not enough. You just know her through the phone. Through the phone, yeah. You cannot know a person within two days or yeah. three days. You need We're going to need some trips yeah, together. Yeah. yeah, and you have to live together for a period, period of time, time, yeah, to discover the, the nature of this person, mm. the character of this person. It's funny how people in Nine Day Fiancé always like to move things extremely fast, no matter what country they are. So tomorrow in the evening, Bridie will arrive to the airport in Lebanon, which is really, really exciting. So yeah, he's very excited waiting for her, and Bridie also looks very excited. And you imagine that, you know, a person that is very excited to travel around the world to meet the love of her life is gonna do everything to not miss the flight, right? Well, that's not the case here. She actually misses the flight. So, I missed my flight this morning, I got held off at the check-in, so I still don't know if I'm seeing tonight. How the hell did this happen? I could have ruined this before we even got started. What happened? How, how did you miss the flight? It was huge. It was huge. And when I got through, it was like 10 minutes to get to my gate. And when I got there, they were literally just closing the door. She said, no, I can't get on. <laughs> hey, calm down. Okay? I can see that you're, you're not okay. Yeah. Um, Brady missed her flight. Ooh, no way. I don't know how to react. Ooh. Yeah, I might have to wait like at least a year so I can see her again because of my work. Ooh. So let's hope like things work out. Wait, what? If she doesn't come now, you're gonna have to wait for a whole year to see her again because of your work? If that's the case, this relationship is never gonna work. So Bridie tries to get a second flight and guess what? She misses the second one as well. So I've missed my next flight. Oh. I don't know what happens if I don't make this flight and I am full on panic mode that this is gonna be done before it started. Two flights. We're not gonna get to see each other. 
Okay, so I have bad news. What happened? Okay, so she missed her second flight. No way. Yes, but they managed. Jogging to... class. <laughs> no. The f up yet? Uh, oh, uh, big time. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So we lost a lot of time that way. Ooh. Yeah. Honestly, it looks like she's not even trying. Does she really want to go there? I have managed to book a third flight. Currently in the queue to check in for my third flight. Oh gosh, please, please no more. What can go wrong on a third flight? Honestly, I don't know if this is bad luck or if she's doing something stupid. What do you think? Well, let's see if she's gonna miss the third flight as well. We're at the airport. Okay, let's check. The flight has arrived, um, like now. Pretty damn late. Thank you. Sorry. I managed to somehow miss two flights. But, but I, ma I made now. the third one though, so you know, third time look at. I made it. You made it. I made it. You made it. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, she managed to get the third flight and she arrived there, but now they don't have much time together, they only have a weekend, and so they're not gonna lose any time. Do you remember how he was planning to propose to her? Well, she thinks he's gonna propose. I've got a little surprise for you and I think now is like the time, okay. since we're alone. A surprise? Yeah. Okay. You ready? Yeah, I think so. Oh, let me just get When her said that he'd got a surprise, I'm thinking, is he gonna propose? Is he gonna propose? Like, is he gonna propose? <laughs> you like it? Makeup that could be considered offensive. A brush? Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, could have some. <laughs> that was kind of funny, so she was clearly disappointed that he didn't propose, but honestly I think that was the right decision, right? They barely know each other, but I think she also wanted him to propose, so I think now she's the one that wants things moving very fast. This is the one I'm all excited about. It's a handmade bracelet that has your name on it. That's really beautiful. I love my bracelet, I do, but going home without a ring, like, I would, I would like it to be official. Look at the absolute sadness on this woman's face. Come on girl, that was the correct decision, wake up to reality. So because she lost two flights, they don't have much time left together, only one weekend. And let's just say that he's not gonna be very smart about how to spend this small amount of time that they have together. Are you back? Okay. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, I'll let you relax, yeah? Enjoy your time. I'm in the salon, and then like I'm sat here, and then I'm like, ah, oh, who's just left me? <laughs> and that's my first like realization that time is going so fast. We have a weekend, it's a short period of time. I don't really want to spend four hours in a salon. Man, are you serious? So far your decisions have been very bad. What's the point of bringing her to your country for only one weekend and once she arrives you leave her for four hours? Are you kidding me? And she's not gonna use the time in the saloon very well either because she's gonna spend the next four hours showing how jealous she is. At the beginning of the relationship when he used to go out and stuff sometimes I'd feel a bit like is he going out and talking to other girls, flirting and, and I used to get a little bit jealous. I'm worried about her jealousy actually. She's always jealous, so I hope she will change. But what is he like when he goes out with you guys? Because Host is so gorgeous. He's like really beautiful. Do you get a lot of attention when you go out? And Lebanese women are hot. Like, they're so beautiful. Honestly, I don't know why she's so jealous because they didn't show Host doing anything suspicious. So I don't think she has any real reason to be that jealous. So I think she's just being insecure. And in the preview of the next episode, you're gonna see why it was a good reason that he didn't propose to her. I had a nice conversation with Wissam. He said you'd have like girls going out with you. We talked about this million and one time. Hers just got mad. This is not how I would have chose to spend my last day. Everyone's gonna be sat at the table talking Arabic and I'm gonna be sat there. I wanna have lunch with my family. Okay. I'm really sad, I'm gonna go back to my girls. So it looks like this weekend was terrible and I don't think this relationship is gonna last. If you wanna see the end of the story, subscribe to my channel because I'm gonna do more videos about it. I'm also gonna be doing more videos about the other couples of the UK version of 9 Day Fiancé. My name is Mysterious Accent and I see you in the next video.